Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ms. Espinosa and I teach kindergarten in Texas. And in today's short video, I just want to share some classroom organization things. I will be just walking around my classroom and showing you how I use different pieces of furniture and just all of the different things that I use to organize my classroom. So hopefully that will give you some ideas on how to organize things in your classroom. I want to start off by noting that I describe my classroom as very minimalist, so I'm very intentional about the furniture that I have in my classroom. I don't like to feel like I'm in a cluttered space and I already have a pretty small classroom, so I kept my furniture very minimal. The first piece of furniture here is where I keep the crayon caddies for all of my students, so if they need to use crayon, they take one to their table and then I have extra random copies and just extra random stuff at the bottom. I have five classroom tables and then my blue small group table in the corner of my classroom. Here I have my student cubby so they keep their folders and their notebooks and water in here. And then I put tissues, I have forks in this little basket, Clorox wipes, random things that need to go home. This is an extra piece of furniture where I put my center so they bring their tub to the table. And then all up here on these shelves are different types of manipulatives. These are all activities that are printed out in here. So I just have to pull them out and if they're manipulatives and I label them as well. These are all math manipulatives. And then here are my science manipulatives. Up here is my collection of books. This was supplied by my school district. And then up here are some of my personal books and some of my classroom books. So if you are a teacher that is just starting out, don't feel like you have to have thousands and thousands of books. That is not the case. I probably have around 200 personal books that I've accumulated. Most of them have been given to me by other teachers, so I've been fortunate in that regard, but I have bought a handful of books as well. And this is just a desk where I keep extra copies. I have a school laminator here, some pouches. This has been my favorite thing to organize, this organizer cart. I organize my copies by skill, and then here are an extra set of bins where I keep all of my small group materials for each of the groups. And then I have some lesson planning things and I have some paperwork here. I have my small group caddy right behind me. I did buy this extra piece of cube furniture from Target earlier this school year. So since I don't have a desk, I tried to be very intentional with how I store all of my papers. But this all has to do with small group documentation. I have a little desk organizer here. And in the bin are just extra materials that I would typically use at my small group table. And this is my small group caddy, so I keep things that we're working on with each group, like books. These are my dry erase markers, my sight word cards, whiteboards. Each little baggie has activities that groups are working on. I love dry erase pockets, and I use this for phony segmentation. One of my favorite things about how I organize my things is that I print out all of the original copies for just different types of worksheets that I really use throughout the year and I file them away inside of sheet protectors and each binder has a specific skill. So when it's time to make copies I just pull out the binder, take out the originals and go make copies. These couple of sets of Starline bins I bought my first year of teaching. So I just keep random things in here that I've labeled off. Here is my teacher closet behind me. It is not perfect, but it is organized to my needs. I can find everything that I need. And I have different types of little Starline bins for the most part where I keep just different types of teacher supplies for myself. But here I have a couple of these that I ended up with. These are Sterlite bins and I labeled what is inside. And this one at the bottom is by far the most random. I have all sorts of things in here that again, I've just labeled. So if I need to pull something out, I can just, I do dig through it, but it's all here. 
Here are my bulletin borders that I really, really love. So I reuse them year after year. I haven't bought any new ones this year. All of these I reuse. And I use binder clips and little hooks to keep them in here. I do have a few of these little black bins that I bought from Target that I use to store different manipulatives or centers or books. The main thing about this bigger teacher closet is that I have all of my art supplies in here and my bins are also labeled and these are Sterlite bins. I have extra different types of paper here and then these are extra copies. Down here is a hot mess. Right behind me on the counter, you're going to see different types of bins. All of those are from Lakeshore. They are the heavy duty bins. And I love to use those to organize all of my printed centers. So they're more or less organized by just different math skills or different literacy skills. And these are books that the kids are going to take home. This is a library that our school got us, but I don't have any space. So it's just been sitting in there, honestly. And this is my tiny library. All of these leveled readers are books that were already in here. So what I did is just write down what the level is. I didn't use any special stickers. I just wrote it in. It's a very simple system. And these are Lakeshore book bins. I think the last thing I want to show y'all is Another one of my favorite things is having communal supplies at each table. So I bought these black bathroom caddies from Walmart and inside we keep chunky pencils, which at this point in the year, it's towards the end of the year. So some of my tables still have the red chunky pencils also from Lakeshore. I really love these because you don't have to sharpen them as often. So that's just a big win for me. I don't have to worry about sharpening my pencil so often. I have colored pencils, I have scissors, and a glue sponge. If you have not heard of a glue sponge, it will change your life. I bought Tupperware from a local grocery store, bought a regular sponge, I poured liquid glue inside, so all the kids have to do is press on it. So no more lost caps, no more dried up glue, no more liquid mess. This has been one of my favorite things. And that's really it. That's how I try to keep myself organized. Again, I think the biggest game changer for me was purchasing that rolling card where I keep all of my copies because we know that we always have tons and tons and tons of copies. So that's been like one of the best purchases along with the extra little cube organizer so I can put a little bit more in there. All right, so now that's really it. I just wanted to give y'all a quick look at my organizational system. So I hope that that helps y'all out. Let me know in the comments anything that is a must have for you to keep yourself organized. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.